we're back with the answer to today's Aqua Kids Pop Quiz. Did you guess which fish is the sea's biggest slowpoke? It's B, the seahorse. Seahorses average about .01 miles per hour. Man, if they were going any slower, they'd be moving backwards. Welcome back. It's time to strap on your scuba gear. And get ready to dive in. To more Aqua Kids. So we're here today with Mr. Shadle, and he is a teacher at the Bridgeport Aquaculture School. So tell us what we're doing today. Okay, well, aquaculture is the growing of aquatic products, from fish to shellfish to seaweed to all aquaculture products. So what the students are involved in is actually growing them from fry or juveniles, which are the babies, all the way to adulthood and then finally into our market. Uh, so the students get involved with that from every bit of water quality and the plumbing and the system design and the feeding and everything. So you really go through a complete life cycle here with the fish. Um, can you <clears throat> tell us what types of species you have? Sure, right now we have tilapia. In fact, this is what we're standing in front of here. Uh, these are tilapia fry and they're literally only about a week old. Uh, so they just got hatched out. But what's amazing is that these small fish used to be in the mouth of the female. All of these fish in all three tanks would be held in the mouth of the female until they were ready to hatch out and become what we see here. So is that why they all huddle away from you when you come near? Yeah, you're absolutely right. So what they do is the fish, they school up and they get into a tight little ball because after they hatch, the mother will go through and recollect them back into her mouth if she senses any danger. Oh. So they all huddle up and wait for her to come back and recollect them. Where are we off to next? So the next part of it is the, uh, the next stage that we're going to grow the fish into. Mm -hmm. So these are called the juvenile stage. This, these fish are actually only about five months older than those little tiny fry that we just came from. They grow so fast. Yeah, they really are amazing. And uh, one thing that's really important is that at this stage, the kids really have to be in tune with what they're working with. So basically they have to monitor any health issues that the fish have. Since they do grow so quickly, health issues are a major concern. They've got to get the right nutrition. They've got to get the right water quality. They have to maintain everything really, really perfectly well so the fish can actually get to this stage. So how do you maintain all of this? Well, you maintain all of it with the filtration system that we have, okay? So what do you need to make sure that the fish stay healthy? You need clean water, you need disease-free water, and you need it at the right temperature. And that's what this whole system right over here does. The blue one? Actually, what this does right here, this is actually the last part before the water gets put back into the tanks. Right. This is what's called the biological filtration system. And the way it works is that inside are beads. And on those beads are bacteria. Most people think of bacteria as being bad, but in reality what's going on here is that these bacteria actually eat all the waste product coming out of the fish, the ammonia, the nitrogen, and they convert it back into nice, clean, safe water for the fish to enjoy. Okay, so over here I can show you the rest of the system. So this big black column right here is actually inside of it is a light bulb and it releases ultraviolet light. We call it a UV sterilizer. What it does is it bombards any of the bacteria, or algae, or unwanted living organisms with ultraviolet light and kills them. So that is our disinfecting, our disease-free, ensuring that that water is nice and clean. Right here, this big, uh, this big barrel that you see here, it's called a bead filter. And that removes the large, well, solid waste that the fish produce. So that's, what, that's the way it works. So the water comes in, it's removed with the large particles, goes through with its, uh, with its UV, and then into the biological filter. So then it goes to the blue thing after this. Yeah, it goes to the blue thing All after right. this. You got it. OK, so this is the last stage on their travels in our aquaculture lab. These are the adults. Uh, you notice that there's a lot less adults than there were fry and juveniles. Yeah. And the reason why is because the final result of all these fish and all the efforts of the students is to have these fish be harvested and be for sale in our fish market. Oh, cool. So we have a fish market on site at our school and the kids grow them all the way up to adulthood. They harvest them 
and then we serve nice fresh fish for the general public in our in our fish market. Aqua Kids presents Aqua Jobs, careers you can do to keep the planet green and blue. Want to be a farmer but don't want to work a plow? Then dive into being an aquaculturist. In addition to studying and providing care for aquatic organisms, aquaculturists also raise fish and shellfish for sport fishing and human consumption. They often work for fish farmers, private laboratories, government agencies, as well as in the natural environment. To be an aquaculturist, you should have a real passion for working with lots of different aquatic plants and animals that live in a variety of environments. You also need to enjoy working outdoors and be in good physical shape. So hit the books and start working out. Don't go off the deep end. There's a lot more to come. So stick around. Aqua Kids will be right back.